Hey guys, it's Todd and Ryan here today. Uh, we want to talk to you a little bit about our soda blasting capabilities. I guess first we should explain what soda is. And it's pretty much the baking soda that you get from the store. It's of course slightly different, but um, it is water soluble, which means that you have to super saturate it when you put it into your cabinet. But what this also means is that whenever you're finished with your part, you can rinse it off and your media literally dissolves. So let's talk about super saturate. <clears throat> There's some misconception as to exactly what that actually means. Basically with say our Weekend Warrior model, which takes about 25 pounds of media normally in using soda in that machine, you're gonna run about 50 to 55 pounds. You basically have to put enough soda in the water that it stops dissolving. Uh, it's not that you actually fill it up till the water's gone. Right. And we've had that situation before. Uh, and soda can work in any of the machines that we have here. Um, they typically tell you that as long as it's a closed loop system, you can run it. You can do it in an open loop system. You just disconnect the water so you don't have extra water running in. Uh, adding water back to the machine as you're blasting is going to start dissolving the soda again. So, And also with super saturation, you have to continuously add media to your machine like on a day-by-day on a -day basis, depending on how much it degrades or evaporates. Um, it's just something to consider whenever you're starting with soda. And soda works really well for those guys who want to clean parts and don't really, are, are, are more concerned with getting media out of the part, I guess I should say. So the media, uh, some people are concerned that it'll get trapped inside the machining parts and they won't be able to get it out. Uh, with soda, it does dissolve. Soda's not going to give you that bright, shiny finish, but it will actually clean the surface itself. It's going to be more of a dull matte finish. Right, and I think it does a much better job than just your standard parts washer because you do have a little bit of an aggregate in there. That way you're actually able to um, clean the part deeper because like I said, there, there is a bit of a cleaning force along with it. It's not just a detergent. There is, there is actually a There's a, a slight media. abrasive, a very right. slight abrasive that's in there as to opposed just using a, a parts washer or a pressure washer to clean it with. So you will get a little better clean out of that. Like I said, it's not a real shiny finish, but uh, it will be a clean finish. We really need some examples to show these people. We do, and actually Tua is working on that right now. Tua is currently, I think it's gonna be a motorcycle piece. I'm not exactly sure what he's, what he's found that'll work, um, but just a good demonstration of the, the capabilities and kind of the drawbacks that are associated with soda. Because I, I kind of want to talk about what you said, how soda is not going to give you the, the shine finish because soda blasting really isn't a form of surface treatment. No, it's more of a clean. Right. And so it's you're not going to see the same results like you would with one of our wet blasting machines. But one main point that comes with soda is that you can take a standard vapor honing unit and easily convert it into a soda blaster. And it's simply replacing the media. There's, there's nothing that you have to do besides switching out the media and making sure that you've gotten all that media that was in the machine before out. And if you're buying the machine specifically for Soda Blast, we recommend getting a closed loop. That way you're not constantly exchanging water because then you do have to add more soda in continuously. But it's a great idea if you want to make certain that you're not going to have abrasive in your parts after blasting. Absolutely. If you've got any questions about Soda Blasting or just want to leave a comment. You can always give us a call here. Phone number is 828-220-4983.